I am by all definitions a mediocre developer. I'm not a 10x developer. I'm not anything special when it comes to making software. I am probably just average, honestly. Maybe mediocre was a little harsh, but I'm definitely just an average developer. And that's okay, because honestly, most developers are average. And on top of being average, I don't really have a specialty. I didn't really specialize or niche down into development. When I first started out, I wanted to become a front-end developer because that seemed to be a pretty straightforward and easier way into web development for me. And I focused a lot on HTML and CSS when I was first starting out. At my first job, I was more of a UI guy and UI development really helped me land my second job. And that's my current position now. And my title there is actually UI UX developer, but I'm more of a full stack developer there now. I don't do as much UI work. I kind of inherited a framework that was built and most of the CSS and the custom stuff that needed to be done has already been put in place. So I don't do a lot of custom CSS work and I don't do a lot of custom UI work. We have a library that uses Bootstrap and really when I'm laying stuff out on a web page these days, I'm just using Bootstrap classes for the most part and I don't do any custom CSS anymore. And for the last two years, since I haven't really been writing any custom CSS, I feel that my you know, UI skills have kind of dwindled, but I've been learning a bunch of new skills also. I've I've been working a lot with TypeScript and Angular. I've been learning some SQL and Spring. I've been doing a little bit more Java stuff, but for the most part, I've kind of made a switch from UI to full stack front end developer and Angular developer. And these days, I pretty much spend most of my time writing TypeScript. So over the last four years of my professional software developer career or my web developer career, I've gone from being a UI developer who was heavily focused on HTML and CSS to a front end engineer who works a lot with TypeScript and Angular and you know, kind of getting all the data from the back end to render on the front end. And then I do a little bit of HTML work and I hardly ever have to write any custom CSS. I mean, really, I hardly ever touch this stuff because it's all bootstrap classes that we use. And it's kind of made me a jack of all trades in a way and a master of none. Had I focused on the UI and kept going with UI and UX, and really if I decided to fill that role at the position that I'm at, I could have done that and I could have focused more on just being a UI UX developer, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to get better at Angular. I wanted to get better at TypeScript and I wanted to kind of grow into a full stack developer role. And luckily my job and where I work, they allowed me to do that. And while I still have to do some of the UI UX work when it comes around, for the most part, the last like year or so or longer, I have been just in TypeScript and Angular world for the most part. And it's been nice. I, I enjoy it. And I guess what I'm trying to say is that by doing that and by switching from a UI UX developer and trying to become more of a front end engineer and full stack developer, I've kind of just brought in my skills but I didn't kind of niche down into anything. And in a way I'm kind of niching into Angular and niching into TypeScript and that area of development. But it just feels like I'm just average these days. I feel like I'm not really good at one thing because I'm not really good at Angular. I don't write any CSS anymore because it's been like two years since I've written any custom CSS. And for the most part, I've kind of been stuck doing a lot of the same stuff and struggling with a lot of the things that I've been learning. And every task I get, I feel like is more difficult than the previous one. And I know that that means I'm learning and I retain a lot of the stuff that I get stuck on and, and I work through and I don't get stuck on the same things over and over and I get stuck on new things. And I know that I'm getting better in the grand scheme of things, but it really doesn't feel that way sometimes. And I just feel like a regular old mediocre average developer who just kind of skates by with the bare minimum because many times I'm getting problems that I'm stuck on now. And when I do have to do a few things that I kind of know I can go on autopilot for the most part, but I'm, I'm, I'm not doing anything special these days. And I, I really kind of feel like I, I, not that I'm stagnant. I just feel that my skills aren't 
as good as I thought they'd be. But then again, it's pretty hard to judge your own skills sometimes. And it's better to let other people do that because like when I do it, I have a bad tendency of being harder on myself. And I probably know a lot more than I think I do. And I know that I'm capable of a lot of stuff, but it doesn't feel that way sometimes. I really thought at this point I would have been like really, really good at one thing, but I'm, I'm not. I'm just okay at a lot of little things. And I think that's all right. When you're first starting out, it's not really good to jump around and learn too much of too many different things, but sometimes that's just the way it is. And that's how it was for me when I kind of didn't have any guidance or direction when I first started learning how to code. So I'm assuming that some people out there are probably going through the same thing and having a hard time narrowing down their path. But after four years, I, I don't have a path. I'm still kind of just winging it and, you know, learning as I go and trying to get better every day. Um, and it seems like I've been doing that for a while now. All right, I guess I'm done. That's all I really wanted to say, that I just feel like I'm just an average developer, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more about how I learned how to code and became a self-taught programmer, make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out some more of my other videos. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.